I'm doing another quest guide. We're doing the family crest. This is stats you need, 40 mining, crafting, smithing, and 59 mage. You can boost the mage, so I'm sure you could probably boost the mining and smithing. Um, these are the items we need. We don't need the um, shark, the lobster, or the two tuna. We need the other tuna. We need the other fish down the right hand column and every item down the bottom, except the money, I think. So just pause it on that screen there. We start at Varrock, just run over to this little place over here and talk to him. Say I'm a bold, bold adventurer and then do the middle option. So, where is the family quest? <laughs> it's hard to say. Um, and you will have started it, just double check that you have started it. Now, let's head to Cami. We're going to go to Cathaby down here. We want to talk to Caleb. Who's just floating around behind the bank and in between the place with the cooking range. So talk to him about it. And then once you've made sure once you've talked to him that you talk about where the other one is. There'll be he'll talk about so it's the last option. Yeah, so talk to him again. Make you have to make sure you've talked to him again. So just make sure you said what has happened with the rest of it. We want to head to um, Jewel Arena or Al Kirid and head down um, south west and talk to the gem trader. Once you've talked to the gem trader, we're going to be heading up to that scorpion pit to talk to Man. He's the guy that's always floating around there wearing the yellow cape. Now, if you haven't talked to the gem trader, Man won't talk to you. So if you're unable to do that, it's because you haven't talked to the gem trader. And then do the bottom option first, and then go through all his dialogue. He'll talk about perfect gold ore. So now we need to go to the Dwarven Mines. You can, I chose to go to um, Barok. You could go to Falador and run northeast, or you can run west from Barok. So just keep going. If you are coming from the other place, we're going to where the the pick guy is, pretty much, in that area. Sorry guys, I ran out of run. And head down the trap door. And just go south and then go west and then just keep going west so we want to go into the just if you just keep going west it's that room there not nope. oh sorry yeah go yep yeah, my bad it is that right way So now we want to go to Artie, make your way there, however you choose. We're going to be going past some Hellhounds, so you want to get some, I got some rune out. And I also got my rune pickaxe just to speed it up because I forgot that we had to do it under pressure. So once you're in Artie Center here, we're going to be heading south down towards where the boat is. across the bridge east here and down the trapdoor snap there now you're going to have to pull some levers in like a series of it's got to be the right way sort of thing so just copy what I do firstly we go to the northern lever up here pull that lever then run down the south passage 
down to the back here there will be another lever on, once you go through the door open uh, pull that lever exit through the opposite door run up north pull the lever on the wall again which will open that door and then pull the lever inside the room exit out the door pull the lever again that is on the wall then run down the southern passage again enter through the door door that you exited last time pull the lever then exit through the door closest to you and you've got the hellhounds open forever now you won't ever have to do that if you decide to ever train here for a slave task or anything now you can um, get these things trapped you need oh sorry before I go into that you need two gold um, ores I did get three just because I want to be safe sort of thing now you can trap the hellhounds here they do hit hard as you just see then and then you can mine your gold so just mine two pieces of gold if you want you can mine a third one but we're smithing nothing should really go wrong okay so now go to Alkirid however way you went I used my glory in my house you can use whatever you can go to Lumbridge if you want and just come across by paying the 10 GP so we want to make a gold ring and a gold amulet hence why we have the two molds once we made that let's head back up to the scorpion pit where man was Keep going. Oh, almost there. There he is. So go through. And he'll tell you where the third piece is. So now tally to Varrock. Actually, make sure you, it says that in the guide where it should if he's taken the bits off you. So go to Varrock. And now we want to go to that pub that is up. Um, northwest of rock that borders the um, wilderness line so yeah just keep going up there's a pub there now we want to go upstairs so just click over where I've clicked head up the stairs and in the back room there'll be a person, normally in this room, could be in one of the other rooms though use any poison on her, him, whatever it is um, go through all the different options now and now it should say that so now we want to go to Edgeville again make your way however you want, I'm using my house to get there you can use a glory or walk from Varrock if you want and we're going into the wieldy so bank any items you don't want to lose we will need mage this is where our runes are way over equipped you probably only need about 30 spells but we have to attack with um, every different type this is where the 59 mage comes in, so if you're low, bring your pot. And I actually low goes in web 1 when I was doing this. So go through these gates that leads into the wilderness. I just went this way to not go through and see everyone killing druids. Keep running. If you've ever charged orbs, you know where we are. And now run down to the back. He's the one we want to kill. Watch out, they are poisonous. And so attack it with every type of um, spell, elemental spell. Now I think you can just, that now once you've done that, just attack it with one. But I just kept attacking it with different ones. I, I don't know why. 
that just did. And it will drop the remaining third piece we need to make the full crest. So we want to head back to where we started the guide. And this is the end of the quest. Talk to him. And we got it done. Now we've got these steel gauntlets and you can enchant them to make gold gauntlets. Um, the bolt ones or cooking. I'm going to go show you how to make cooking. The gold ones is man. Um, and the bolt ones, I'm sorry, I'm not too sure. So just talk to Caleb back here. And he'll change them into cooking gauntlets for us. White pair, which also people used. So 